speaking in tongues. Do you speak in tongues? Hallelujah. It is the best thing that you shouldn't miss. Oh, it's the best thing that happened to me. The opportunity and ability to speak in tongues is one of the very best things I can count that the Lord did. It makes life easier. I make life so simple. The Word of God says to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, and I read from verse 2 that says that, For he who speaks in tongues does not speak to men, but speak to God. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, glory, glory, glory. Oh, hallelujah. It says, For no one understands him, however, in the spirit he speaks mystery. What an opportunity. When I said it was one of the best things that happened to me, ability to speak, he said, I speak to God directly. Nobody can hear what I'm saying to God. Nobody understands it. It's a mystery. Ability to speak a mystery that only God understands. That means it's one way. It's just God and I. God and I speaking, interrogating, intermingling when I begin to speak in tongues. So, do yourself the favor of speaking in tongues. Find how you can receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you will be more productive in your prayer life. The Bible lets us know that Paul says in verse 18 of the same chapter, he says, I thank God I speak in tongues more than you all. He's boasting about it, that he's speaking more in tongues more than others. Hallelujah. Why don't you pray for it? Pray for this this ability that equips you to, to be more effective in prayer. I enjoin you to ask God for it.